gamer grade. What is up guys, as usual it's Jay, and in this video I'll be teaching you the quickest and easiest method to easily beat Lone Shadow Masanaga first encounter. If that sounds good to you, then make sure to punch that thumbs up real good. The quickest way to reach Masanaga is from the old grave idol. There's five human enemies situated between the idol and the boss, but you can simply sprint past them all, making retries quick and easy. It's worth noting, Masanaga will only show up once you have reached a certain point in the story. Specifically, when the Interior Ministry raid the Ashina Castle. You'll know when this is happening, as all Ashina Castle idols will be greyed out, besides the abandoned dungeon entrance. You don't need any prosthetics or items to take down Masanaga. However, the Shadowfall combat art is crucial and is the key to winning this battle. While the recommended minimum vitality and attack power levels are 15 and 6 respectively. Being a similar combat art to Shadowfall, I'd assume you could alternatively use Shadow Rush. However, as I didn't test this, the same results are not guaranteed. Several meters before entering the building where Masanaga is waiting, crouch to enter stealth mode, then lock on to the lone dog located to the right of the building by a tree. Use a single shuriken to take it down, then wait for a further two dogs to emerge from the building to investigate the noise. Sneak up behind them and drop them with your sword to save spirit emblems. <laughs> Once the dogs are dealt with, jump up to the walkway, sneak up the stairs and round to the side. Here, you can sneak round the back and behind Masanaga undetected, to perform a stealth death blow, halving the difficulty of this battle. While he's recovering from the death blow, quickly perform a shadow fall combat art, making sure to get in 3-4 hits that damage his vitality. Then quickly sprint away, leaving the building and back up the slope where you came from. Stop and turn shortly after passing this wooden archway, to lock on and track Masanaga's position. He should stop in his tracks and start slowly backpedaling as soon as he reaches the archway you just passed under. As he's retreating, walk toward him but not too close as to trigger an attack. As soon as you're within range, perform a Shadow Fall combat art. Charging it up will significantly extend its range for no additional cost in Spirit Emblems. As soon as the combat art connects, attempt to get in as many vitality damaging hits as possible. Before he can react with a counter, sprint away again out of range. So he starts his backpedaling retreat again to reset his position. Simply repeat this hit and run approach until you can perform the second death blow, or you run out of spirit emblems. If you do run out of emblems before his health depletes, then swap out the shadow fall combat art for the emblem free whirlwind slash. The whirlwind slash will damage his vitality through his guard, hits twice per use, and possesses a decent attack range. Simply repeat the whirlwind slash using the exact same hit and run tactics of the shadow fall, all while he's backpedaling to reset his position. This will quickly chip away the little remaining health he has after the initial shadow fall assault. For beating Masanaga, you'll receive two yellow gunpowders as well as a prayer bead. Upon his death, the Great Serpent Shrine will once again become accessible for travel. 